reacting to CJ the champ, let's hop into the video. The diabolical trial of Shredder. If you know, you know. Let's dive in quick. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Been waiting for the CJ. For another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Or Let's if go. You want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, right. uh. Let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. A long ass beef. Some takeout. So like, let's get down and pick out. It's what? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the shredder. So everybody sit back and relax. Yes, because sir. the amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man is about to make this the most massive and ambitious round table trial to date. So right, right. without further ado, it is time to commence. The Shredder, Shredder Child. Child. Let's do it. Let me review the evidence. Show me the evidence, DJ, so we can put them on the table type shit. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utram Shredder. Ut <laughs> New York City. A city where you can find damn near everything. From Facts. your bacon, egg, and cheeses. A random nigga getting sturdy on every single block. Facts. Fast, <laughs> mutated rats. And of course, ninjas. <gasps> I beg your pardon. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, the Foot Clan ran Facts. by none other than Oroku Saki, or also known as the Shredder. Shredder. Now, this man yes, Shredder sir. basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first example. We got a right, run of the mill right. drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random ass mob. So bro right here come up and say, you got the stuff. Do you have the payment? Oh, we got right, the money, right. all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when right, they finished, right. he was like, do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you're going to get the other half after we take it off your dead corpse, bud. You oh, oh, point. we fucked no, up. No, 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 no. And look at the mob. These boys are terrified. So they start shooting and they just start beating the shit. Oh, my God. They stood Whoop ass. Right back. No and these were level one foot grunts, by the way. The foot grunts that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. I mean, Damn. look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before they <laughs> even start this beating session, they got to glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored to get yep. our ass Yep, yep, facts. So the reverse jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this. Weave. Weave. Oh, oh, kick his ass. He's whooping they ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle. Oh, oh my God. Grown man into another man. And look Facts. how we landed. Hey, hey yo. Olga ass in his face. Hey, and yo. Absolutely not. And I honestly got feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably Facts. just beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my God, if you ever failed this man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, You're dead. let's ask this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro right, is right. pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtle. But Facts. Shredder looked at bro Rip ass turtles. You are fucking failure. Oh no, shit. Please. So you guys get to step in. At this man, and you just see the door shut. And oh all you damn. Hear is this man screaming and getting his ass beat? And you Fight never back. see or hear from this man ever again. So guess what? Ding He's ding, dead. Ding, you guessed it. Murder. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who oh, suffered no. the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy God. F what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably right. wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So Facts. while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. <laughs> for Hunter For Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman why you had to, hey, cut. CJ, why had you make him sound like Android 13, bro? 
<laughs> trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hun grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back Damn. to Shredder. So Me personally? Back to base, and this motherfucker Stockman was like, well, you see, Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Because with your funding, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Thanks. Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So oh Lord! Drug him off to God knows where, and the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. Oh, he gouged out his eye. He gouged out his eye. Oh, he straight up mutilated this bro. man. Bro, he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman, like, oh, Master Short with my Ivy League genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Oh you damn! Up, Stockman. Ah! And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. Oh, so they no. took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the next time you see Stockman, bro cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. Yeah. Oh so my sure God. This works now. Every time this man fails, Shredder takes one of his body parts. And this isn't oh. even the last time, but we'll save that for later. And right, me, right. It gets worse. So his first confrontation with the turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before facts, this even facts, happened, facts. They got to ask sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. <laughs> you don't have to be enemies, <laughs> my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, oh, hell no, my oh. son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this Facts. man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago, when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and right. jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he killed the nigga right Damn. in front of his face. Murder. So now they knew who they was dealing with. So later on that night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. Right. This man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost me? Like what, uh, $50, bro? Try $50, <laughs> nigga. Oh. So Shredder sends his foot oh, just to Oh, no. Him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top rope and oh, damn. the building. Then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this damn. shit, too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes <laughs> behind him and just throws him. And look oh. at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire. Fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So right. they all jump up and try to just knocks them out both in the air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at Cook this. Straight Raphael cooking. gets up just to get Oh my god! Into a dumpster. <laughs> then he can't leave him Bang, I hit. Damn. Landed on a taxi. And then boys had to retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. And Facts. look at this motherfucker walk walking through the fire place, saying, bro. Oh, turtles. Come out to play. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. So Facts. then he called over his foot ninja. He said, foot ninjas. Chase ass. Yes, Master Shredder. If you want a pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase. On the ass. Throughout the oh, entire shit. night. Until the turtles just decided, F it. We can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later right, on, they right. decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof. So here come this man Shredder. And he immediately said, foot ninja, jump the turtles. Jump so they this. Got a whole brawl going on right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. This version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Facts, Every chance facts. he gets, he's going to jump. <laughs> Look at yep. this Mikey just fighting for his life right now. That was Ooh. a up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere. Oh my God, get this shit out of him. I mean, look. Yeah, this is Shredder, bro. He would be jumping people, bro. You know how those people, they'd be like, oh, it's a fair fight. And then you got that one boy that come in and then boom, you know what I'm saying? Get this nigga. Donatello <laughs> is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk Splitter up to him. Splitter is just watching on top. Him, hey there, little green nigga. Catch this four-piece combo, nigga. Damn. Sit this Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair ones. Back. Leonardo, this man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind and him and slap the shit out. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they right. just ended up trading places. The Shredder picked this man Raphael up and Talk threw him ass. across the building. And look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Shredder 
down. Send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. That's right. He's gonna run right into Shredder. And bro just looked at him and said, Night night, nigga turtle. So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2 0 against this guy. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear attempted murder, by the way. Facts, Master facts, Splinter murder, comes facts. Down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, Looks like New York's ever growing rat pandemic has still been solved. <laughs> but Master Splinter was not about to Locked take that in. disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower Damn. started shaking, Oh, Master shit. Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So, Kick bro his kicked the water tower on him. So, Dog got washed off the building, and the water tower landed on top of his ass. Oh so my Master god. Splinter then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder is dead. And I mean, nah, shit. I mean, yeah. Will, nobody is surviving that shit. Facts, but true. We will soon understand that this man is fucking un. Killable. And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice spice shaking ass. Hey, it just yo. Comes natural to him. So about. <laughs> yo, CJ. You've been watching those Ice Spice videos, have you, CJ? Mm hmm. Caught him 4K. About a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run, and everything just seemed all fine. Right, Master right. Splinter was like, oh, Take care of yourself, my son, and make sure right. you get that 40 yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So Leo Damn. goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello smart ass was thinking in his head. Damn, what the Sigma? It's eight o'clock right. sharp and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it comes <laughs> straight to a bad, bro. To run. <laughs> hey guys, the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. And their suspicions were right because literally five seconds later, Leonardo comes flying. Oh my God. This nigga is beat the f up. Damn. Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, oh, he, he's back. The Shredder. Yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite fight guard back. to fight back. this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords bro. and snapped them in half like a stick. And not he even personally, a minute later, just started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we committing home invasion today. So the Turtles <laughs> had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on, when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the Damn. Door. And bro walked in saying, one, two, three, four. How, How many ditches are in my store? <laughs> I know you're stealing. Well, um, actually, Stupid. you're the one busting into April's store right now. So, uh, technically, you're the one stealing, bro. You know Facts. what, Mikey? You actually got a point right now. Silence, you little green shits. Quit all that yapping <laughs> and come get these hands. So they dive in on him, and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Oh, oh he's the Help cook her. of the century and punishes the hell out. Damn. Mikey comes in and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello, but he whiffs. And look at this step. Oh, get this man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask his question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You exactly. Why she got some pole on there? April, what you be doing at nice, bro? Damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So hey, yo. comes Master Splinter. And obviously, Shredder wants his run back. So yeah, bring it back. Again. I ain't going to lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. <laughs> Master Splinter just had too much sauce. Too much sauce. Mm -hmm. Hey. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase off him, and they Damn. decided to retreat in the cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his Dad foot ripped. to disappear. But before he left, he decided to do some crazy shit. Okay. Bro walked up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov. Oh, no. Nah. And started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is a kick for camping like some pussies. Your praises, <laughs> so the gas started to leak and bro Boom, damn This is just ridiculous this is bro. Wild. And I'm not gonna lie this man had to have caught some bodies here I mean you literally see these policemen get blown Yeah away. they got blasts bro 9% of the time a red dead is not surviving that so Facts. let's be real they're dead now the turtles did get out of there because of a vent but look at April she is devastated she done lost her whole business and her whole apartment and she lost a stripper pole and an OF all in one go.
Come on, CJ. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of out New of York town. and put Leo in a coma. Bro was out for like a week. So the turtles were covered <laughs> as time passed. And they decided to assault this man's lair. So while Damn. they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark things that Shredder has done. And that would be human experimentation. Because they nah. found this lab and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders. And also, they was kidnapping motherfuckers. They found this That's video crazy. of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters. So That's yeah, wild. this man is a sick nigga, bro. But he anyways, is sick as hell. They get to the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker back. Mr. Stockman pulls up in a whole mech. So what the hell? Like, Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that is that is this is my emancipation proclamation. Because I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this Damn. man grabbed Shredder, started throwing him around oh my and God. dog walking. Stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. Right, but right. His reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and just sent bro to the shadow room. Damn. So after that altercation, Shredder was like, now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whooping Damn. the ass. So here comes Master Splinter trying to bail out his sons again. But right. this time, it wasn't going to work. Shredder jumps up and roundhouses this nigga through the glass. Damn. For the damn building. Shit, bro got lucky this was Leonardo saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we don't know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. <laughs> Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was, was just getting cooked. Ass kicked. Damn, it like back. at this point was just having fun. Then later on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. Right. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking them all out. So they Damn. was fighting for dear life at this point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final yeah what we won the plot kicked in hard and leonardo ended up decapitating the shredder oh so no. now the battle is over and the yep. turtles have defeated the shredder or yes, so sir. they thought because this man got up grabbed his head and walked off into the fire and how the hell did he do this how well, this is where shit gets crazy the shredder shredder tribe. Tribe. Bro, I forgot about that. Nigga head got cut off. Wrap up. Multiple counts of murder. Facts. Mutilation. Torture. Yep. Kidnapping. Yep. Home invasion. Trafficking. Racketeering. Property damage. There is, yep. Multiple counts of attempted, attempted murder. murder. Assault on multiple counts. Exhibit B. Ah, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Shirelle. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. This motherfucker is an alien. Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he is meet alien. Shirelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe, and he is also the Utram Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, oh, this geez. alien race called the Utrams are a very peaceful race, but there was right. one outlier, and that was Shirelle. Now, currently, <laughs> they have him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But right. Shirelle was not going to let that happen. So later on, Shirelle ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet. And that planet was, was Earth. Earth. Now, the Utrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they right. couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. So one day, when this Utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets flying by a log. And this trap was set up by none other than Shirelle. And he looked oh, at the poor nah. little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Little nigga, 
So he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows Damn. where that little nigga just landed? But after this is where everything makes sense. We see these Utroms working. And they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none of other than the Shredder. A.K.A. Yep. Shirell. This version of Shredder that we have been talking about is a 1,000 year old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. That's crazy. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrons. And look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, what, what is the meaning of this? What, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, here we oh, go. Simply, here we go. The same air as me. Look at him. He is just whooping his ass. Up. This motherfucker been jumping niggas since the 11th century. Facts. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This yep. is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utrom technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword and the blacksmith told him, Oh, uh, yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payments, Lord Shredder? Payment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. So he aimed the sword at them. Oh, and no. Yeah, he took he killed he killed their ass. Why? They gladly <laughs> built that sword for you. And you just blew him to bits. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. He's, he ain't making no payment on that, bro. It's like child support. <laughs> so after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today. And has right. been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utroms ever since. And anybody allied with them. Because y'all remember Master Yoshi, Splinter's yeah. Master? Yeah, he has been allied with the Utroms and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He Damn. even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like this man Damn, is 100% wow. pure evil. Not a single redeeming quality. So now let's go back to the present. Now, after this man dodged death again, right. I mean, this man had a fight with the Utrons and the Turtles and survived oh, a building shit. that imploded on him. Still that part. Day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Now, as oh. we saw earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shredder, but failed right. miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And, I and he decided to spin the block back on his I ass. I mean, severe punishment. Because the next thing. time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain and an eyeball in a tube. <laughs> This, in honest to God, Yo. is a worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most fucked up thing, Shredder looked at him and told him, mm, Baxter Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then oh. look at this. They start oh. shocking this man in the tube. This is actually horrible. The fact that this was showed on four kids is insane. Yep, that's right. We that slowly part. watch this dude get mutilated and reduced all the way to a, to brain, a brain and, and a eyeball. Jar. Crazy work, bro. So fast forward a couple Crazy days as later, hell. and the turtles confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously Shredder starts talking shit immediately. Ah, uh, nigga turtles. Can't <laughs> that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new football. Roger, roger. So this robot walks up and blows this <laughs> crap <by laughs> over. So a whole Big ball guy. ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter. Spl oh, yeah. His ass whooped. Like, Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like, you could see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head <laughs> like, oh, oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. shit. So a Back. big ass explosion goes off. And Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down. And Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call Life Lord for this old nigga now. That's all right. He needs some milk. kill this man. But this Triceraton rams Shredder. Damn. Away. So he ends up boxing with Dino nigga, and this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship Damn. and hammer fisted him God into damn. the fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, "Victory for the Republic!" But the turtles was like, "Yo, nah. turn around, bro!" Cause this motherfucker Shredder got up and, and stabbed him in the oh. body. Hey yo, what? 
I mean, hey, yo. It looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So hey, yo, CJ. Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles. Dino nigga gets up. Bear hug Shredder. Takes him over to the fire pit. And falls oh. Him. So you got to think. Fire is not going to kill this man. We tried this multiple times. No way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by Dino nigga. Right. Well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say this once this and nigga I will is immortal. Say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man right. did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So yep. after this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city of Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know right. what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is a actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed right. to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. What? I'm not kidding. He got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This oh, man. Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately. Cause Reparation? He just needs to just go in peace. R.I.P. Brother that lost his body, and now he a damn slave. And look at right. Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shredder, I, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, right. did I say that you could speak? Oh. Lord bless his brother. So more time know, right? passed, and Shredder <laughs> would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll, and he That's started crazy. to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Ultrams and conquer their planet. But the Turtles was not having that shit. <laughs> What's because the if they don't stop him now, he's going to take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder, and they don't sugarcoat it. They start damn. the hell out of damn. this man. Like, this shit was crazy. God damn. Yeah, bro, stumbling Fight back. Bro fell to the Fight ground, back. he was like, in all my centuries i've never had my ass beat like this so oh, jump. shredder was not about to go out like no bitch bro pops up damn. and starts beating the hell out of everybody planted these niggas on the wall damn damn came from the top rope but the dog caught the sword and Full count time. The so shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space so it was time for the final confrontation so shredder right. pulls up in his final boss armor that's got four arms on some general grievous shit so right Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter karai start whooping they ass like he's just damn. throwing these niggas damn and then look at this they tried to run up and electrocute bro but bro grabbed the wires from him and he electrocutes hey, oh. was done for. then bro stepped behind leonardo booted him all the way oh god damn she Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs cooked. him and hits him with the GPS. This oh, nigga God. Think he's CM and here comes Go to Mikey sleep. getting his legs oh, taken out and stomped on. Damn. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed like usual. This brother smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder right. has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter, what, what are, you doing? are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, nah. shit. Bro just a bitch slapped his own Don't daughter. Kid, and bro. He's about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Ultrams pulled up, stopped time, and warped everybody off the ship because they Damn. were coming back to Earth to arrest this nigga. So we end up going to the Ultram homeworld, and they are about to put this man on trial for Damn. all the atrocities he has committed. And my God, when you hear some of this shit, it is absurd. So the first thing that they bring up, that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Inif Gold, and over one million innocent people were killed. Damn! Oh, but we're not done. Next up, this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. Now, guess how many people died during this? A whopping 3.2 million. This, this nigga is dead. He's like sentenced to death like he's sentenced to death like 20 times. 
Because body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Some said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? Nah, Get bro. The fuck out of here, bro. Nah, they bro. On conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utrams in the Galactic Council came together and said, guilty. We, the Galactic Council, find you guilty. Guilty. You will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the bro. end of the Utrom Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. Wait, what? The shredder. <laughs> the whole time how worse can Exhibit it get? B wrap up. Oh, this is just as if it be. Multiple assaults. Oh, jeez. Conspiracy. Mutilation. Mutilation yep. Attempted mass murder. Multiple counts of murder. murder. Slavery. Multiple counts of genocide. genocide. Yup. Exhibit C. Y'all righty, ladies and Bro, gentlemen. It's a it is now <laughs> time for our final exhibit. Bro. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction so after what? shredder got exiled on the frozen planet he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 shredder. shredder now the oh reason why God. he did this is because well the 87 shredder is kind of a is this nigga damn and he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode so he wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts so of course he chose the evilest one out of all of them the facts, Utram facts. Shredder. now utram shredder obviously betrayed 87 shredder because this nigga's an idiot and he decided i'm gonna destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's techno drone and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They military the got Army, cooked. Air Force, Marines, and yep. they couldn't do nothing. They ended yep. up becoming cannon fodder. This nigga was killing multiple people. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and Back. destroying the city. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. Evil. He got to the point 87 shredder and Krang started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Facts. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Fools, you bum ass niggas. Dare Facts. question me? Facts. I know, right? Dog, he's gotten to the point where he's abusing his own, own counterpart. Dev. Yeah, that Nasty part. Nasty work. So later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 turtles and the 1987 ones. So oh, he could use God. their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was oh, the, God. the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the Damn. first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the Menace. final, final Menace. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along yep. with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man. Jump his ass. he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. So this motherfucker turned into a giant, and he said, Oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 turtles a rat. My Damn. bitch main counterpart. Damn. Damn. Fought, daughter, Damn. Damn. Can suck my giant show. So this man just starts to destroy Damn. everything. Damn. This stupid ass nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass. Oh my God, he got cooked. And this man turned his hand into a gap oh! and started spraying oh! and And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Because this man done became a damn titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. Right. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up. Because damn. since they're dying, everybody's dying. Even Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. She tried to talk no jutsu to him. She said, Father, please. Are you willing to destroy yourself? For yes. Some damn turtles. Yes. And he stopped for a second, but then he thought to himself and decided, "You little green shits are the bane <laughs> of my existence. So if I die too, so fuck it. it. So this man is about 
to destroy everything, even himself. This nigga is it's crazy. crazy. Bro is willing to destroy himself just so they don't exist. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. Facts. So right before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder <laughs> ended up getting hit by his own Technodrome laser, evaporating him and finally Damn, putting kill him, him in to the Utrom Shredder. Dead. He's finally and dead. That, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these charges, he's on the table. No debate. Hey, man, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th 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 there's no, he, he, he approved. Like after Exhibit B, we could have cut the video short, CJ. Type this shit. Nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. Facts. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So Damn. now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial drop? Exactly. Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So, nice. until we return, the jury is adjourned and the trial of the Utrom Shredder comes okay, to okay. close. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll be waiting for part two, CJ, because this is a long-ass trial type shit. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one.